Good evening Hackology, just a quick catch up after the Easter break. Uh, this video is going to be a short one on a small script combining some applications that we've used in previous videos uh, to do some cool stuff. <laughs> um, we're going to be moving on afterwards uh, into some other... My cat? We're going to be moving on to some other cool stuff. Um, soon, which will involve this, and I will explain all in a future video. But um, let's get to the video. This one's OCR from any web browser to text to speech, uh, which is pretty cool. And you'll be using Xclip, which we've used before. You'll also be using Curl. Uh, we'll be using Grep, which is very similar to Orc and we'll be using GOCR which I've also shown you before so uh, let's get to the script and I will talk you through all the, uh, the stuff in the script and exactly what it's doing okay so let's fire the screen capture up in fact I don't need screen capture I'm just going to print the screen so the first line kill all A play kills all instances of A player um, which is the sound engine that Festival uses because sometimes it hangs if you try and send it too much uh, information via pipe or sometimes like funny symbols and characters cause it to hang as well so uh, the next line CD home T OCR is basically the folder that I've got the script stored in and where all the magic happens the next line in the code URL equals string uh, returned by xclip and uh, we're grepping for jpeg so basically what that line's doing is setting a variable called url equal to the value of xclip now as you know xclip basically takes the values from the clip uh, that are stored in the clipboard and we can put these out to the command line or we can pipe them into other applications and this is what we're doing here so we're just piping this into grep and telling it to check for um, the input stream and we're looking for .jpg so very similar to awk we're just looking for any line that says .jpg and uh, if it's not found we can move to the next line down which is if dash z string url which basically means if the string URL is zero bytes, so it hasn't been initialized, then try and set the URL equal to GIF. So have a look, see if there's a match for a GIF file in the URL, and so on. So the next one says if the URL is still zero bytes, then we will set the URL equal to the return from XClip, which processes the clipboard, and then we grep that out and we look for BMP so we're only looking for file types that we wish to process then at the end if the dash n string URL and basically dash n means is not null so there is something stored in string URL then we're going to curl the image so we're going to curl the image down into the directory and we're going to set the file equal to the URL so but we're just pulling back the file name base name just returns the file name from the URL string and then we're passing that into GOCR and we're saying take this input from this file and pipe it to image.txt so we uh, append it to image.txt so we keep a log of the um, images that we've processed and GOCR dash I string file dash U and this is um, this is basically taking the file from the URL and then we're piping <coughs> all the information out I think that's what the dash U stands for um, I'm, it's been a while since I wrote this so uh, I'm just going over old code and then basically it pipes it into festival and we've seen this command before this goes into festival dash dash tts dash dash pipe 
and we're just going to output this to dev forward stroke null. So basically, uh, it will spawn a background process and allow this script to close and complete executing whilst festival runs in the background. And there you have it. From any browser, um, we can now, if I go to, um, and what I've got here is a direct link now copied into the clipboard. So I've pressed Control and C to copy it um, from the web. So I could right click the image and copy the image URL as well. And then to my shortcut key, I've assigned the script. So I just press the Windows key and I. As a rule, software systems do not work well until they have been used and have failed repeatedly in real applications. Um, okay, it didn't get the last two letters, but if you tweak your settings with GOCR and uh, maybe there's certain types of text file that you want to read straight off the web or you have a script automating pulling files down or something, there's many uses you could put this to. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. Like I said, we're going to move on to some really awesome projects over the next few weeks. Uh, the last couple of weeks have absolutely blown my mind. I've been learning loads and loads of stuff. I'm not going to say any more. Um, like I said, have fun hacking. We'll be back soon. Peace.